到你了，嘿，你了。Hola, ni hao, and hello, little artists. Today we're going to be learning about something called printmaking. Say it with me, everyone. Printmaking. Printmaking is a form of art where you print picture onto paper. Have you ever used stamps before? That's a form of printmaking because you are pressing an image onto a sheet of paper. Now today we are going to be using tin foil to be making our prints today. And here's what else you're going to need. You are going to need washable markers. Make sure they're washable. You will need some paper, and then you will need either some baby wipes or another thing you can do. I lost my paper towels, but another thing you can do is take a paper towel and get it a little bit wet, and then wring the water out so it's not really sopping wet, but just damp. So here's what we're going to do. Take a look. What we're going to be doing is taking our washable markers and coloring it onto our tin foil, and then taking paper and pressing it onto the colors. Now there's two options. You may draw a picture first on your paper using Sharpie markers or crayon works too. The reason why you have to use Sharpie marker or crayon is because we're going to be getting our paper a little bit wet so that the colors stick better. And if you use washable markers to draw your picture, then your picture is just gonna get all smeared away and washed away and it won't work. So if you want to draw a picture on your paper first, you have to use a Sharpie or a crayon, and dark colors work best. So I have a paper here ready with a little robot drawn on it already. So what we're going to do next is we're gonna take our washable markers and we are going to color a section onto our tin foil. Now you wanna make sure, you wanna make sure that you color enough space so that your picture is covered up all the way so that when we print it, the color is all over your picture. So when I'm coloring with my markers today, I wanna make sure I color an area as big as my paper. So here we go. When you're coloring, you can just do big blocks of color. You can do shapes. Like maybe I wanna do like a little square right here or a couple squares. You can do stripes or zigzags. It's really up to you. It does not matter how you color your tin foil. Be creative. Okay, now that I have my tin foil and it's all colored and I matched it up to my paper to make sure that it would fit. The next step is to take your baby wipe or your moist paper towel and you don't want it dripping wet, otherwise your paper is going to get too soggy and it can rip. You just want it damp. So I'm going to take some baby wipes and you're going to press onto the front of your drawing. Now, you may also just use a plain white sheet of paper and print it onto this and see how it looks. But I have a little robot drawing, so we're gonna see how that looks. So I'm gonna take some baby wipes. And I'm going to 
press onto the paper. And as I press onto the paper, you'll notice the paper kind of turning darker because it's getting wet, and that's what you want to see. It's not soggy, but it is damp enough where the paper is changing colors. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, you want to do this next step, step kind of quickly because you want your paper to be wet still when you do this. So you're going to take your little drawing, be careful because it's wet so it rips very easily. Notice, do you see how the paper is darker where it got wet? You're going to take your drawing and you're going to press it down onto your tin foil. So let's see that. Okay, now you're going to take your fingertips and you're going to press onto your paper and kind of smooth it out. This is going to get all that ink from the marker onto your paper. If you see some areas that aren't, that isn't soaking up the marker, you can take your, ta your towel, your paper towel, and you can press gently on to your paper where it looks like it's not absorbing the marker. But make sure you're not getting it too wet because it rips very easily and I already ripped mine a little bit so you have to be very careful. Okay, now let's lift it up and see what it looks like. Be very careful. That looks pretty cool. All right, now it's really soggy and wet, so you wanna lay that flat somewhere to dry, and maybe you wanna put it on another sheet of paper so that you don't get marker all over your table. Okay, so I'm gonna lay it down to dry. Now, if you see up here, oh, I made this print earlier. And I, I used crayon for this one, so you can kind of see the difference. Now, the really fun and cool thing about this is that your tin foil is not garbage because you can take your wet paper towel or your baby wipe and you can wash your tin foil off and you can do it all over again. So here, I'm going to show you how easy it just wipes right off. Voila! Now you get to do it all over again. Now let's take a look at our featured artist for this episode, and that is Molly W. from Profe Seska's fourth grade class. Let's take a look at her artwork. Molly shared two pieces of artwork with me. The first one is a pencil and marker drawing that she titled Penny the Penguin. The next one is a painting she created that was inspired by the winter landscape video Look at the beautiful blending of colors in the night sky. Thank you, Molly, for sharing your artwork with us. Well, that's all for this episode, amazing artists. And don't forget to send your pictures of your prints to kowen at mylila.org or email me too with pictures of your own artwork if you would like to be a featured artist for next episode. See you next time.